Okay, uh, hi everyone. So this is Reemal here from BioPlus and today we will be talking about the 5 H2 AAA filters we have to offer. Uh, these are 11 inch, uh, 3 of them are 8 inch long and 1 is 5 inch long. So the difference between them is uh, the life of the filters and the increasing power of pH, ORP and hydrogen. So the most powerful filter is the 11 inch which increases 3 pH of the input water uh, and respectively, respectively the ORP and hydrogen uh, levels uh, which can be seen in our flyer or the comparison chart. Uh, the 3 8 inch filters increase 2 pH of the input water and the 5 inch filter increases 1 pH of the input water. Uh, this, these all filters need to be fitted post purification so the water which goes inside them should be purified uh, or be processed by RO uh, which has to be made sure. Uh, with all these filters we give um, uh, a free pH testing liquid uh, which is 5 ml and 5 ml of the ORB testing liquid. Just with the 5 inch filter you get a pH testing liquid and not an ORB testing liquid. So now uh, let us uh, test these filters and first let us test the pH of uh, what, what, how, how it increases the pH and how you can check at your home uh, how it increases right. So I have a 20 litre jar filled with packaged drinking water and also have a packaged same water uh, with me in my hand. So let us first test what the pH of this uh, drinking water is. So I will take about 10 ml of water here drop in around 4 to 5 uh, drops of the pH liquid so as you can see the water is uh, yellowish green so it should be around you know 6 pH uh, 6 or 6.5 pH uh, let us now run some water th through the 11 inch filter which is the BWPK filter right some uh, water right here let us drop some liquids so you can see uh, it is purple color so it's almost 9 9 yeah 9.5 9 pH right so it increased around uh, 3 pH of what the input water was okay so talking about pH uh, what happens is when you drink water which has an acidic pH uh, you know it will uh, affect your health uh, we human beings are already uh, eating a lot of junk food a lot of oily food uh, and with that we consume so much of water and consuming water which is acidic uh, with, uh, will create problems like gastric problem uh, acid reflux uh, problem uh, no proper digestion or constipation or stuff like that and all of these problems like the gut problem the gaseous problem if, if your gut is not doing good uh, you will obviously not be able to uh, take in a lot of uh, minerals and vitamins from the food you eat so your digestion isn't good right so that will uh, uh, negatively affect your health so you should be drinking a, a, a water which is around 8 to 9 pH uh, uh, which is on the alkaline side which will act as a counter measure of the food you are uh, the junk food and the oily food you uh, are consuming okay so now the next test is the ORP test ORP is basically oxidation reduction potential of a liquid uh, it tells if an, the liquid is oxidizing or it is anti-oxidizing right uh, so anything with, with an positive ORP is uh, oxidizing li uh, liquid and anything with a negative ORP is anti-oxidizing so antioxidant, like antioxidant you must have heard for sure, uh, antioxidant water is, uh, uh, is you know something which will act against the free radicals which is present in our body. Now talking about free radicals basically they are produced by our body when the body suffers uh, from stress uh, or it is in an, uh, a polluted environment uh, or you, uh, you know have some uh, issue or you are worried about something then the free radical pr uh, production increases a lot. Uh, now what happens is when there are excess of free radicals uh, uh, your immunity goes down and there are chances that a lot of diseases uh, can occur in your body right. Now all these filters uh, what they will do is they will make the water ORP negative. So your water itself becomes uh, anti-oxidizing. Uh, for example the green tea you drink is anti-oxidizing. A lot of medicines which were given during COVID 
had antioxidants in it because they help boost immunity, right? And with that, they have multiple benefits which can be read on our website, uh, right? So now let us test the water, I mean the ORP level of the packaged drinking water, you know. So we'll test it with uh, the liquid and we'll also test with uh, a meter we have got here, digital meter, right? First, uh, let us uh, test uh, with the liquid, right? So I'll take 10 ml of the packaged drinking water and drop 4, uh, four drops. Uh, so the thing is how to test is uh, if the liquid stays uh, white, if it's transparent, that means the ORP is positive and if it turns uh, pink, uh, then you can say that the liquid is anti, uh, I mean with a negative ORP, right? So I drop like almost 6 uh, drops and the color hasn't changed, which means this is has a positive ORP, right? Now let us run some water through the BWPK filter right here. Okay, there's some water here. So you can see the color change to pink, right? So this has a negative ORP. Let us also test uh, with uh, a digital meter so we know exact reading of how much negative ORP does this filter make and what's the ORP for the packaged drinking water. Alright, so I have got a digital ORP meter from Aquasol. Uh, let us test some uh, ORP for the package drinking water. I will take about 10 ml here. So the reading started from 200 and it's increasing. So uh, that means 200 without a minus is positive, right? So let's see. I'll just keep it right here. It's around 242 right now. Uh, let us now run some water through the filter. Okay, got some water right here. This is at 240 as of now. So you can see uh, it's going negative. It's around negative 700 as of now. 740, 750, 760. It, it has slowed down at a negative 760. That's really good, right? So what will happen with this filter is that initially it will increase uh, for the first you know maybe 100 liters it will increase around I mean decrease around uh, 800, 900 or 1000 ORP right and then slowly it will settle around 500 or 400 right. Uh, the same is mentioned in our data sheets how much it increase, uh, decreases the ORP. So 400 or 500 will be the normal uh, uh, working till 11,000 liters of purification from this filter right. Okay, so we are done with ORP, uh, now let us look at uh, uh, hydrogen reading, how much hydrogen uh, uh, gas, molecular hydrogen the filter gives, right? Now talking about molecular hydrogen, uh, molecular consuming molecular hydrogen uh, has a lot of benefits, uh, it has n number of research which a lot of people uh, of us do not know because these research, researches are very recent and obviously uh, we, we aren't much educated about uh, drinking water which we drink every day right 
So it has around 150, uh, uh, it helps preventing 150 diseases, uh, the hydrogen, uh, molecular hydrogen rich uh, uh, water, right? So let us test how much molecular hydrogen the, the package drinking water has and how much does the BWPK filter has, right? Okay, so there are two ways uh, to check uh, dissolved molecular hydrogen in, in any liquid. Uh, one is a liquid tester which we won't be using today because it's a bit longer process. For a quick check we'll use a digital hydrogen meter right here, right? So let us test for the packaged drinking water how much hydrogen does it have. I'll take 10 ml right here. So yes, as expected it has zero dissolved molecular hydrogen because it wasn't processed to have it, you know. Let us run some water from the BWPK filter and see how much hydrogen it has. Okay, got some water right here. So it's around 500 ppb right here. Uh, yes. So that is how you check hydrogen for here, I mean the, the, the filter, right? You also can use a liquid tester. Uh, which has all the instructions mentioned there. So this is the test done for the hydrogen, right? Uh, now, now let us look at uh, the TDS increase, right? So packaged drinking water or RO purified water uh, has a TDS around 20, 30 uh, or maybe even it goes up to 5 or 10, right? Uh, what it does is it, it, it purifies the water, it removes all the waste, it removes all the dissolved solids, you know, the TDS is t total dissolved solids, right? So it removes that. Uh, but the thing is, from water, uh, you can consume a lot of minerals which, uh, which are beneficial for you, uh, like potassium, calcium, sodium and magnesium, right? These are the four major minerals uh, which you can intake uh, from water. So, uh, like what these filters do is they add pure minerals and so to test that obviously you can do a lab report test which we have which we will be providing you for the exact amount of calcium increase the exact amount of magnesium increase right but to test it right now uh, we will use a TDS meter and see how much TDS does the filter uh, increase right now let us test the TDS for the packaged drinking water we have right here we we'll test it with a digital TDS meter. Took some 10 ml of water. So this package drinking water right here has around 34 of TDS, right? Let us check for the filter now. So it it it's 114 TDS, right? So it has increased around uh, 90 uh, TDS of the input water, right? So the increase in the TDS are pure minerals. Uh, you know, we use mineral walls in these filters. Uh, and talking about the safety of these filters, uh, we have all the certification, uh, including the highest standard certification for safety, which is NSF from the United States. So we also have that uh, for uh, with us. Uh, we also have checked with the US FDA standards, uh, the Indian water standards, the Korean water standards and we have all the certificates uh, and lab tested uh, uh, data sheets, right? Now let us talk about the next feature which is micro clustered water. So normal water has around 16 molecules of H2O combined. Uh, and what the, the filter does is it breaks it down and brings it to around 8 or 7 molecules of H2O together. Now the advantage uh, for this is uh, it makes the water smoother and uh, easier to pass through the body, right? Okay, so the next feature uh, is that all these filters improves the taste of water uh, and as we know uh, like the taste of water nowadays has become very important. Because we are drinking it uh, all day or long, uh, we would obviously want some tasty thing uh, to be, you know, drank. And some water with a bad taste uh, isn't fun drinking. 
So all these filters will improve the taste of water and it gives out excellent taste of water. Now talking about BioPlus, uh, we are in this industry for the past 12 years and we have developed a huge range of products and these five filters are now available in South Africa with Puritech. Uh, uh, we have a deal with uh, Terence Naidu. Uh, he is an excellent person and I, am, I have been in communication with him uh, for the past maybe one month, right? And finally, all these five filters are now available in South Africa uh, and you should definitely check them out and give it a try. Uh, it is a product which, which makes sure you drink the best of water uh, you can uh, uh, in, in, in this price range, right? Uh, these filters are like, you know, they are not very costly and they give out uh, uh, such a long uh, life of purification, right? So uh, contact Puritech today uh, or even you can write us an email uh, to know more about these filters and you can check out our website which has absolutely all the information you must be needing uh, and uh, uh, thank you so much for watching and you know listening to me uh, and I'm, 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 I'm looking forward for you to be uh, uh, drinking water from these filters. Uh, thank you so much and uh, live a happy life.